How to turn off Windows Defender in Windows 11. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. I hope this video has helped you out. So please let me know in the comments or simply, simply just leave a like. So I actually know that this video has helped you out. So just keep following along everything what I do step by step. So let's just get started. The very first thing which we need to do is simply search for Windows Security. So simply click on here and this will open this up. Now here we can see the virus and threat protection. We need to click on there. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Once we are here, we need to go to the virus and threat protection settings. Click on manage settings. And then here, I'm simply just going to disable every single thing. So it will ask for permission. So just click on yes and simply disable every single thing now this one over here is especially um recommended for the other stuff which we are going to do so now that we have done all this we can simply close this and now what we need to do is go to the registry editor what we need to do is hit the windows key and r on our keyboard this will open up the run panel what we need to do is type in um reg Edit over here, and then click on OK. Then you need to click on Yes, and this will open up the registry editor. Then what we need to do is go to the um, H key local machine folder, then go to software, scroll a little bit down until you see policies over here, open this up, Open Microsoft up. Then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger like this. And then simply go to Windows Defender. And then click on the folder. Over here, we need to simply right click. We need to click on New. Then we need to click on D Word 32 bit value. Simply click on this and we need to give this a name. Now you need to type this exactly as how I am typing this, or else it will not work. And uh, that goes the same for all the other values which we will add later on in this video. Type it exactly like I am. So disable anti-spyware with a capital D, A and S. Simply double click on this and we need to give this a value of 1. So simply click on OK. And this is not yet it because we are going to add even more of these. So now once again we're going to right click, new d word 32 bit value type in disable antivirus once again with a capital d a and v then double click on this press uh, one in the value data and click on ok so real quickly i have added even more as you can see so i have also added disable special running modes disable routinely active action and service keep alive now keep in mind that all of these except the service keep alive have to have a value of one the service keep alive has a value of zero so if you double click on this as you can see this is zero the other ones are one so you can just pause the video real quick just to copy everything over and then we can continue so we are still not done yet what we now need to do is go to our folder over here right click on this click on new and then click on key the this is pretty much a new sort of folder and we are going to call this real dash time protection like this exactly with all these capitals go over here go inside of the folder right click new and then d word 32 bit value and we are going to type in disable behavior monitoring and once again we need to put this value to one so i have already added a couple of more of these so you need to add disable on access protection disable scan on real-time enable disable real-time monitoring you need to put them all on value of one so then we can go ahead and create another key so what you need to do is go to windows defender again right click on it click on new and then click on key then simply call this signature updates with a space in between then go over here right click 
D word 32 bit value. And then here we need to type in force update from MU. MU in this case is are both capitals letters. And we need to keep this as a value of zero. So then we need to do one last thing. And that is by going again to Windows Defender, right click on it, click on new, click on key, then call this um, spy net without a space. Go over here in the folder, simply right click new D word 32 bit value, type in disable block at first scene, and then put this value at one as well, as you can see. Now, then all you pretty much need to do is restart your PC and everything should work correctly. Now, that is just pretty much it. If you ever want to enable your Windows Defender in Windows 11 again, then what I just simply recommend doing is looking up my tutorial if you forgot exactly what you did and pretty much just do everything backwards. And um, so just delete all of these new values and whatever I added over here, as well as enabling everything here back in the virus and threat protection settings. So that is how to turn off Windows Defender in Windows 11.